Hello lovelies, welcome to my channel. So this week I'm going to be testing out Dita Von Teese's favorite luxury foundation as well as her favorite drugstore face powder. So before I actually go in and test the foundation, let's talk about the two products that she used. So one of Dita Von Teese's favorite foundations is the Dior Capture Total Foundation. And this is a luxury foundation. And Dita quotes, always glowing is not my thing. A matte finish diffuses any features about my face that I'm not comfortable with while shine highlights them. It's like a soft focus magic. So I personally found that this foundation kind of gave me an iridescent glow. And this is a super potent serum foundation and they actually just reformulated it and the new Capture Total super potent serum foundation is inspired by the science of mother cells and Dior's expertise to correct the four dimensions of the skin for a youthful complexion. Firmness, wrinkles, dark spots, and radiance. And it has a very soft, luminous texture. The serum foundation instantly makes the skin smooth, radiant, and supple. The foundation stays in place all day, providing comfort and hydration for a long-lasting plumping effect. And it's enriched with a flower from the Dior Gardens that is known for its revitalizing properties. Super potent serum foundation visibly improves facial firmness and the appearance of wrinkles. And I really did notice that it made my skin super soft and looked really hydrated throughout the day. I really like the foundation and I would definitely recommend it. And next, to finish off the look, she used Cody Airspun Face Powder. And she says, I love Cody Airspun Powder, but I have to confess that I don't really use it on my face, but all over my body as well for shows. She says she loves the fragrance and she says it's so old fashioned. And Cody is super old. It launched way back in 1935. And in 1934, Cody patented a manufacturing process using air powdered micronizers and promptly created their iconic line of air spun powders. Imagine a powder buffed by rushing torrents of air, swirled in a fantastic snowstorm, spun and driven until it reaches a softness and smoothness never equaled by any other face powder. And I have been using Cody air spun face powder ever since I read that Dita Von Teese uses it. And I feel like I've tried almost all of her products because I've talked about her in several other videos featuring her favorite beauty products. And all of them are always so good and I honestly have nothing bad to say about all the products she recommended. So now let's jump right in and get to me trying her foundation and face powder for a week. Hello lovelies, so today is day one to test out Dita Von Teese's favorite foundation for a week. And it is the Dior Capture Total Cell Energy, and this is a serum foundation. And I'm really excited to use it, so I'm gonna put a little bit on my fingers and spread it on my face. I might get a sponge, but to be honest, I know this is weird, but I kind of like using my hands. I know people are gonna be like, why are you using a beauty blender, blah, blah, blah. I might. Actually, I'm starting to realize you don't need very much. I put too much. It's really nice coverage. It's like dewy and soft. So I think you only need one pump. I did two. And it feels really good my skin, very dewy, and put on my eyes. So yeah, this feels pretty good. It's like really easy coverage. I'm because it has serum on it. I think it's okay using your hands, but I could use a beauty blender. But I feel like it spreads easily just with my fingers. And she also likes the Cody Airspun powder, so I'm gonna finish it with that. She said she likes this one and it's like vintage. She also mentioned that she loves the smell and even uses it to like pat her chest. And this is one of my go-to face powders. I find that it's like super affordable and works really well. And then it just kind of mattifies the whole look. So yeah, that is it. I feel like it looks pretty good. It has like a nice dewy, um, soft look. I really like it. Nice coverage too. So I'll check back with you guys later today. Hello lovelies. So this is update from day one. I feel like because I was wearing a mask, 
got rubbed up a little there, but I feel like this part and everything looks very luminous. So I'm pretty happy so far with it. I think it looks pretty good. So I'm excited about tomorrow. Um, yeah, and I feel like the ring light brightens things so it makes it look like you can see more flaws, if that makes sense. But anyways, yeah, so far so good after day one and I'll check back with you guys tomorrow. Hello lovely, so I just got out of the shower and I have all my face cream on and everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on the foundation. And like I said before, I don't usually use a beauty blender, so I'm gonna start with one pump on my hand and then just start applying it to my face. And so far, I love this foundation. It feels so good on my skin and gives me like a nice dewy look. And I find when I first put it on, it looks like it's too pale for my skin, but it actually blends really nice. Um, once it's blended in properly, and I'm always a little bit flushed when I get out of the shower too. And I just love the way it feels on my skin. I feel like all day long, I have like a really nice complexion. And it's pretty easy to rub in. I keep forgetting to do upward strokes. I don't know why I like to just go down. It's just like a bad habit. A bunch of you had commented on that. I don't know, I just want it easy just to use my fingers to apply the foundation, to be honest. I find that when I use a beauty blender, it absorbs all the foundation and it wastes it. I guess I could use a little bit um, like around the eye area, but anyway, so yeah, now it's all applied. So I'm just gonna go ahead and gently powder my skin with the air spun. Because Dita Bontis likes this as well. And I feel like this really kind of finishes it off. And then I can just go ahead and put on a little bit of mascara. And that's pretty much what I do on my like no makeup makeup days. Like if I'm not filming really anything, I'm just like hanging out at home, I do that. And then I'm pretty much good to go. So I'm gonna put on my mascara and then I'll check back with you guys in a few hours and let you know how it goes today. But so far I've been really impressed. I feel like a little goes a long way with this foundation. I know it's a little bit pricey, but I feel like it lasts a long time. So anyways, let's continue and I'll see you guys later. Hello lovelies. So here is an update of my skin. Um, it's been a few hours. I did go to the store. So I had a mask on, so it wore off a bit, but I just like how luminous it is, I find. I feel like it's a really good color match too. And yeah, I just think it's a really good foundation. It makes my skin look really natural. It's not too heavy. It almost doesn't look like I have foundation on, but I just have like a nice luminous glow, I find. And my skin feels really soft. I don't know, I just, I really like it so far. Um, yeah, I think it's a pretty good foundation. It has a very natural look to it, so. Um, we'll stay tuned again tomorrow. All right, see you guys. Hello, lovelies. So today I'm going to be using the Dior again. And today is Saturday. So I'm going to start with the one pump. And just blend it. I just I love this foundation. It's weird. When I put it on at first, it seems like it's too light. But as soon as I blend it and powder, it really like tones down and mixes well with my skin. I feel like a little goes a long way and I feel like my skin looks very moisturized from it. And like healthy and dewy. And because it's more like a serum to me, I feel like I can use my hands. And even one pump is a lot. As you can see, it's like really blending and it kind of oxidizes a bit so I've noticed like at first it seems like it's very light for my skin but as soon as I apply the powder and wait a bit it kind of darkens a bit and if I match it to my neck this color matches my neck too because I did the test and I tried the shade darker and it was too dark because when I went down on my neck like you could see the dark so I kind of tested the whole thing. I also have the Dior concealer. 
don't know what shade this one is. It's pretty much all gone though, so I need to get a new one. I do like that one as well. So now I'm just gonna do the powder on my face quickly. And I'm using the Cody Airspun. I feel like this really finishes things off. I might even use a brush next time. And it just kind of like sets everything in. And then all I need is maybe a little bit of concealer under the eyes and some mascara, and then I'm like good to go. So that is it. And I'll check in with you guys again later today to kind of finish the look and then show you how it kind of oxidizes and sets in. Hello lovelies, so I just wanted to check in and this is my makeup after a full day. I feel like it looks pretty good. Um, nice even coverage, not shiny. I really love this foundation so far and as you can see it kind of um, ends up matching my skin color but at first it does look like it's too light but I think it matches quite well so yeah i'm really happy with this foundation i and you can see how it has like a little bit of a dewiness to it i don't know it's really good it's like one of the best foundations i've ever used anyways i just want to check in and so we have two more days left of the challenge Hello lovely, so I just had a full day of work and I feel like my skin looks really good. It's like really glowing and the coverage is still really good and it's not too oily or anything like that. So I'm really impressed so far. I love this foundation and I feel like it would last a long time because I've been only doing like one pump and it has really good coverage in my opinion and it's worn up a bit in here but that's only because I was wearing a mask for like eight hours. So anyways, yeah, so far so good. So I have Monday and Tuesday left, and today's Sunday, so I'll let you guys know, but yeah, I really like this foundation. Now I kind of want to try more Dior products. I really like Dior. I like a lot of their perfumes, so I have a few of their lipsticks. Anyways, I've never tried their skincare products, like face creams and stuff. Let me know if you have. I'm just really curious. Let me know in the comments below. Hello lovelies, so today is Monday and it's my day off, so I'm not doing much today. While well, I'm working, I'm doing editing, getting my video ready. So I'm just gonna do one full pump. But so far, so good. I love this foundation. The only weird thing is when I first rub it in that I mentioned before, is that it looks like too light for my skin but then it like blends really nice and gives me like an all natural dewy glow i'm sure there's people going to be like why aren't you using a beauty blender to be honest i've had them before i just never really liked it i find that i can easily do my foundation this way with my fingers and i find that the beauty blender absorbs a lot of the makeup so then you end up having to use more. But it could be good, I guess, around the eye area and nose, but I don't know, I just kind of grew up not using one. And I've used, like tried it, I just never liked it, so. I just feel like it's pretty easy to blend like this. And then it kind of darkens when it oxidizes too. And yeah, it has like a really nice dewy finish. I like it. But yeah, it has like good coverage. And now I'm just gonna like add the airspun powder. This is kind of like a nice final touch. You could also use a brush. I feel like the poof is sufficient for me. And then yeah, all I need to do is a little bit of mascara and that's pretty much it for my makeup today, and I'll check back with you guys in a few hours. Hello lovelies, so this is my face after like eight hours. I also had the mask on, so it did wear off a bit there, but I feel like overall the coverage is really good on my cheek area and everything like that. As you can see, there's a nice sheen and light reflection on my cheekbones, which I love. And I don't know, I just like that it's like doing a double duty of serums and foundations. So I'm super happy so far. Anyways, tomorrow's the last day. 
So I'll check in with you guys in the morning because I have a really early wake up call. And I can hear Pinky crying right now. Good morning, lovelies. So today is the last day. It's like 5.40 a.m. So I'm just getting ready for work. So I'm gonna put in one a little pump. I actually don't even do a full pump. It's just like a half one. Cause I feel like you get a lot out. And then I'm just gonna rub it in. I feel like it almost like changes color. Like I'll put it on like this and like as you can see, it like seems very white compared to the rest of my face. I feel like I say this every time, but it blends and then like kind of oxidizes. And if you compare it to my neck, it matches. And then just a little bit of my forehead. I just love it because I feel like it's a very moisturizing foundation. So I was trying to think about how it feels on my skin. And I think because it has all those serums in it, it doesn't like make my skin look dry or set in any like fine lines. It like gives me like a nice glow. And like it makes it me feel like I'm not wearing a lot of foundation. Like when I have it on, it's very natural looking. So it's not like super caked on. And kind of just gives me like a moisturized glow. Like even how I look kind of dewy. And then just adding the powder kind of finishes the whole thing off. And I feel like since I only use one pump, honestly, this foundation would almost last more than six months. So it is expensive, but you don't need much. Um, and it goes a long way. I kind of want to try some of the other Dior products now. See, this is what happens to me with skincare like as soon as I try one thing I like from the brand I just always want to try new things even though I don't really need it because I have like other products that I'm currently using but I just like it like I feel like I get a thrill from trying new products I don't know if anyone else feels that way but like it excites me like I enjoy trying new products so now I'm like can't stop thinking I'm like ooh there's other Dior serums like I want to try those anyways I'll check back with you guys later tonight for my final thoughts, but yeah. So this is my face. I feel like it looks really, like it's like nice coverage, but not too much. And it has that like nice dewy glow. So anyways, I'll see you guys later, bye. Hello lovely. So this is the end of the week and I wanted to show you my foundation. So this is after working for eight hours. I didn't apply any other foundation or concealer on top of it. And I had the mask on all day. So as you can see, it has quite a luminescent glow. I am wearing, however, a little bit of like bronzer and highlighter because I was just filming today. But besides that, I really didn't do any other touch-ups and I like how natural it looks. I feel like it doesn't look like I'm wearing a lot of foundation. Um, it just looks very natural and it kind of oxidizes and changes so at first it looks very pale but then it gets a bit darker and kind of blends with my skin it's very odd but yeah and it feels very moisturizing it doesn't settle into my lines anything like that so I really like it so far and I think I'm going to continue using it um, the only thing is it's a little bit expensive but I think it would last a long time because you don't really need much um, so yeah, highly recommend it and thank you for watching. Let me know if you want me to try anyone else's makeup products for a week. Alright, I'll see you guys again soon. Bye!